Okay, this can be considered a logistics video. That's probably the category I'm going to put it under. This is a preparedness, prepper, survivalist type item. It could potentially be used by the militia if handled properly, stored properly, and so forth. I highly recommend this product. I use it even now in my personal preparedness pantry. I drank this when I was in the military. We used to get issued this in the 8 ounce cartons. But as you see here, they also sell them in the larger 1 quart 32 fluid ounce cartons. This is Gosner UHT Ultra High Temperature Milk. Now I'll read you the write up for this. I will put the link to the company in the description. You can purchase it from the company. You can purchase this from survivalist and prepper stores. Uh, the one quart boxes I've been able to get those at dollar stores fairly cheap. Sometimes they also appear in supermarkets once you get into camping season. Gossner UHT Ultra High Temperature Milk is real grade A milk that has all the vitamins and nutrition of conventional pasteurized milk and is ready to use. No preservatives are added. The milk is processed at over 280 degrees Fahrenheit for several seconds and packaged so that it is shelf stable and stays fresh without refrigeration until the sealed package is opened. Once the package is opened, it must be refrigerated and the contents used within 14 days. The shelf life on this product is approximately 12 months from uh, it being sealed inside the package. Now, in the one quart size, you can get 1% low fat, 2% reduced fat, whole milk, 2% reduced fat chocolate, whole chocolate, 2% reduced fat root beer float, that's something I haven't seen, 2% reduced fat vanilla, I haven't seen that yet either, and also fat-free skim. They also apparently make whipping cream. And it says the instructions for the whipping cream before use, you must chill it at approximately 40 degrees Fahrenheit for about eight hours. The whipping cream comes in quarts and also pints. Now they do have some additional flavors in the eight ounce uh, to include strawberry. They don't make it in the one quart containers apparently, but they do have that in the eight ounce. I know in the military when I was still in, we used to get issued this with our field chow when they would bring out our A rations, our regular food, and also when they bring out our T rations, our tinned rations. They would send out several cases of the eight ounce containers at the end of field chow, I and a few others, we would go up there and we would scrounge some of the cases for our squads. I would come back with a case of chocolate or a case of strawberry and a case of the white milk. I was the one that usually drank the white milk while my troops usually drank the uh, chocolate or the strawberry. So I highly recommend this stuff. It tastes good. You can drink it cold. It's better if you or you can drink it cold, you can drink it warm. It tastes better when it's cooled down, but you know, it's perfectly fine to drink it when it's warm. So, highly recommend it. Uh, how much does it cost? I think it was when I got the last batch of it, it was between a dollar to two dollars a quart. I don't remember the exact cost. I need to go through and rotate my stocks and that's what reminded me that, hey, I should do a recommendation on this. Uh, the best buy dates, as you see, are located on the top here. And they're pretty simple to use. Just this little tab here, open it up. Easy to open cap, no pull tab. 
twist to break the inner seal and a tapper evident ring. They used to have a little pull tab inside here you had to take out. Apparently they've now gotten rid of that. Uh, side of the box here. This modern process with ultra high temperature pasteurization and packaging keeps the milk fresh and natural for several months without refrigeration. Once this carton has been opened, it must be kept refrigerated. Okay. Da, 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 da. This is made in, by Gosner Foods in Logan, Utah. And it has the plant number where this particular package came out of. Because of the special packaging and long shelf life, this milk is the perfect choice for breakfast, school lunch, hiking, biking, camping, travel, food storage, and emergency preparedness. With a note here from cows not treated with RBST, no significant difference has been shown between milk derived from RBST treated cows and non-RBST treated cows. Each one of these large packages is for servings, 140 calories a serving. As I said, highly recommended. Get a hold of it for your emergency pantry for your families. Uh, you can get it for logistics for your unit. Serve with your field chow. If you go that route, I recommend getting the 8 ounce cartons. They're about the size of your standard milk carton inside the school, but they're uh, thinner. I would not carry them inside a rucksack because, you know, they probably will crush and explode. But you could probably carry them on a cart, maybe stra strap one of the cases to the top of a rucksack. You know, put it inside of vehicles. It should be just fine. Uh, storage on this. Recommendations, keep it in a cool, dry place. So don't store it in an attic. Don't store it in a hot pantry. Store it in like a basement, inside a cabinet, that type of thing. You want it out of the sunlight, as cool as possible. Can you freeze this? Yes. I know that did happen in the military. We would get this stuff when it was frozen once in a while. You just uh, let it uh, come back up to room temperature. It will thaw out. And then if it has been frozen, just take it, shake it once it's defrosted to mix it back up. Uh, you can eat it while it's still frozen. Just use a uh, spoon or something and it's basically like uh, ice milk. A uh, different type of uh, ice cream if you want to think of it that way. Highly recommended. Add it to your supplies for your uh, emergency preparedness at your homes. You can add it to the logistics for your unit. Works out just fine. The military does use it. You come across it, you capture it in some, uh, when you hit some convoys, hey, walk off with as much of it as you can. Supply your troops with uh, dairy products out in the field so they can get some milk in to uh, heal their bones up from operations. Now, for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot Militia Movements, always remember, SA Ons.